despite a recent visit to West Caicos by the Premier and Deputy Premier of the Turks and Caicos and seemingly a silent star to 2008 on that island, there is still undercurrents of discontent. Former Chief Minister Oswald Skipping said it was enough to bring him from private life and though he is a PDM, his comments are for the people, not about his party. Over 300 expat workers, only six belongers, subpar construction, substandard housing, security issues and holdups on paychecks are just some of the things former Chief Minister Oswald Skippings and a group of men calling themselves concerned citizens of the TCI are saying is plaguing the West Caicos Molasses Reef development. We were summoned to West Caicos by some disgruntled employees over there. Um, to deal with some problems that they were having. You had a few people who were employed and were not paid for four weeks um, going on to five and for some reason they were unable to get paid and so they had um, refused to work yesterday until they got paid and they had called us over there to look into the problem for them and so we answered their call. That problem hopefully will be solved today but it almost escalated into um, some altercation in West Cape or something that we were trying to um, prevent and that is why we went over there and um, this morning um, I think they had taken some persons over there to replace them. They're the truck drivers for the, um, the, the trucks that operate the batch plant and um, those are skilled people. For one they're being offered five dollars an hour. Um, you might not believe it but that's what's you know that's the situation over there. WIV4 was on Wednesday morning summoned to an informal meeting by the men who include contractor Eddie Seymour, Reverend Daniel Delancey, Reverend and contractor Terrence Smith, former Minister of Labor, Works, Utilities, Immigration, and once a Middle Caicos MP, Samuel Harvey, and self-employed Daniel Briscoe. They, along with Skippings, revealed that they are out of work and out of patience, but have lots of time to investigate the allegations. And every week there is still a, a flow of, of um, Chinese coming into the island. Um, we had about 40 that came in just a few nights ago and it's, it's still happening and um, our people are not being given um, an opportunity to work over there and that is, that is um, unsatisfactory, that's not acceptable. The living accommodations for the folks from Astrum, um, you know, far different from those for the other folks. Even our people have substandard living conditions on West Caicos. Um, while you have Astrum employees um, have television and air condition and recreation facilities with pool tables and whatnot and dining facilities, um, that's not the case with the other employees. When it comes to the Chinese, for example, who are probably at, at the, ba the bottom rung, the Chinese and the Haitians and whatnot, you have like nine people in, in an 8 by 12 and, and no air condition, no fans. So why not talk to the Premier as the Minister Responsible for Investment or the Honorable Galmo Williams, the Minister Responsible for Immigration? Skipping said this. Um, I think it's a waste of time. Um, let's not forget that a couple months ago um, we had a, 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 a crisis um, in Providenciales of national proportions relating to West Caicos. And there were promises made by the Premier that all the local contractors would um, go back to their jobs in West Caicos. That has not happened. As I said before, we have six Belonger employees on West Caicos. The group even said the illegal landings at West Caicos are becoming a dangerous event as just this week a security officer was reportedly beaten up by an illegal. Skipping said they have had a tour of the island by an Astrom official and that a meeting is scheduled in Provo for the regional director of Astrom either later this week or early in the next.